Hello! In this video we will see how we can find an iterative formula for a recursive law by diagonalizing a matrix. We consider this recursive law a n is equal to 2 a n minus 1 plus 3 a n minus 2 and we start with a2 and a1 equal to 1. Then we can write a n, a n minus 1 into a vector and we want to find a matrix that we can write here. So since a n equals 2 a n minus 1 plus 3 a n minus 2, we have 2 and 3 here. And here for a n minus 1 we have 1 and 0. So if we continue to do this and to decrease this index here, then we get the following 2, 3, 1, 0 to n minus 2 times 1, 1, which are the starting values. And if we can diagonalize this matrix, we can easily compute the power of this matrix. So we take a to be the matrix 2, 3, 1, 0 and diagonalize it. We start by computing the characteristic polynomial. Since we did all the diagonalizing stuff in the first videos, we will not do that in every detail here. The characteristic polynomial is x plus 1 times x minus 3 and the two eigenvalues are minus 1 and 3. Now we have to compute the eigenvectors. We start with lambda equal to minus 1, the first eigenvalue, which gives us the condition 2, 3, 1, 0 times v1, v2 is equal to minus v1 minus v2 which this is just a system of linear equations that we can solve and we saw how we do that so we can compute that the eigenspace of 8 for the eigenvalue minus 1 is the span of the vector 1 minus 1. Now for the next eigenvalue lambda equal to 3 we do the same thing as before, just with a 3 here. 2, 3, 1, 0 times v1, v2 is equal to 3, v1, 3, v2. Again, we just compute the solution of this system of linear equations and get that the eigenspace of A for the eigenvalue 3 is the span of the vector 3, 1. Now we can find a base change matrix S where we put the vectors, that the eigenvectors that we found into the columns. So we start with 1, minus 1, then 3, 1, and compute the inverse of the matrix. We also saw how we did that, so I will just write that down. This is 1 over 4 times 1, 1 minus 3, 1. Now we have s to the minus 1 times a times s is a diagonal matrix where the entries on the diagonal are the corresponding eigenvalues for those eigenvectors. So we have minus 1, 0, 0 and 3. And now we just want to write A as a product of those S and S to the minus 1 and the diagonal matrix. So A is just S times minus 1, 0, 0, 3 times S to the minus 1. 
Now it is easy to compute the power of A. So A to the n minus 2 is just S times the diagonal matrix to the power n minus 2 times S to the minus 1. A diagonal matrix is also easy to raise to powers since we just have to compute the powers of the diagonal entries. So this is s times minus 1 to the power n minus 2, 0, 0, 3 to the power n minus 2 times s to the minus 1. Now we can use the formula from here to compute an explicit formula for a n. So a n, a n minus 1 is a to the n minus 2, but this is just this as we computed before. So this is s times minus 1 to the n minus 2, 0, 0, 3 to the n minus 2 times s to the minus 1 times 1, 1, our starting values for a2 and a1. So this is just a product of matrices. We can multiply this out and get that this vector is the same as 1 over 2 times minus 1 to the n minus 1 plus 1 over 2 times 3 to the n minus 1. This is the first row and the second row is 1 over 2 times minus 1 to the n minus 2 plus 1 over 2 times 3 to the n minus 2. So in the first row we have the formula for a n which is explicit and iterative and not any more recursive. A nice check that we computed everything correctly is that we see that we have here the formula for a n minus 1 which is just a minus 1 uh, compared to the formula for a n. So our formula for a n is 1 over 2 times minus 1 to the n minus 1 plus 1 over 2 times 3 to the n minus 1. In the next video we will see that not every matrix is diagonalizable and we will see why and what we can do instead of diagonalizing it.